Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 online on the Plutonium modded client. One reason for my wanting this modded client is being able to customize your stats, play the DLC, play online and against AI, and still rank up and get streaks and still enjoy the game. As well as anti-cheat controller support and all that good stuff, amongst a bunch of other reasons you might want to check it out. But let's just hop right into it. So firstly, you're going to need Steam. If you don't have Steam, just go sign up and install it. If you're on PC, you probably have Steam. And then go over to your library here, go home. You want to click this drop down and make sure tools are enabled. Scroll through and go to the C. It's, it's, it is alphabetized and look for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 dedicated server. Once you find this, you want to right click it and go to properties. And then you want to go to language and make sure it's set to English or whatever language you might be speaking. And then install that. If you can't find the dedicated server, I will put a direct link to it in the description that should take you to it to be able to download it properly. Once it's installed, however, you're going to need the plutonium modded client, which I have over here. So you can, I'll link that in the description to download as well. And if you don't have a Plutonium account yet, you will need to go to forum.plutonium.pw, linked in the description as well, and make an account, just a simple email and password. And this is where you can also add friends. So if you search up their profile, you can go to their profile and click the follow button, which should be about here. And if you both follow each other, that's how you add people. And if you want to add me, I am at Watchful Space Wolf. But once you have Plutonium and you made an account, you can open up Plutonium. And if it's your first time, it will install itself and it will ask you to sign in. Now, probably you're going to want the DLC for MW3. And if you don't have the DLC and you would like the DLC, join our Discord linked in the description down below. And we can gift it to you inside of our resources tab. Oh, once you have MW3 with the DLC installed, you can open up Plutonium and you can go to IW5MW3. It's going to say set up and simply select the directory where the game is. So you can do that by going to the dedicated server here, right clicking, going to properties, local files, press browse. And then right here will give you the destination. Nonetheless, find your game folder, press select folder, and then click play, and it should be able to start up. So then you can configure all your options, your settings, stuff like that. You can also do tilde in the top left slash unlock all if you want to max out your rank and unlock everything. Otherwise, you can just manually rank up on the servers like I believe I am doing as well. But yeah, you can hit all your settings in here, your emblem, your calling card. You can even do a custom forum emblem from setting an emblem on the website of Plutonium. And you can access a friends list of Plutonium as well, which is nice. So for controllers, make sure your controller is plugged into your PC or connected to your PC, Xbox, or PlayStation. Go to Options and go to Controls, go to Controller, make sure it is enabled and make sure you're tabbed into the game. And if you're on an Xbox controller, it should work just immediately. If you're not on Xbox, however, you're going to need another program called DS4 Windows, which I have here. It detects my PS5 controller. It also works with PS4 controllers. But you just want to make sure this is running, minimize it, tab back into the game, and your controller should work if it didn't before. If you're having any issues, simply exit out of Steam entirely. Make sure Steam's not running. And then make sure your controller is all set up with DS4 and everything. And then relaunch Plutonium and get back to the game. Now let's go to server browser. I also, I do not recommend using your controller unless you're actually in the game as it may cause some issues. All right, we're in a match. And another thing, you can actually press tilde. I forgot to mention, do slash CG underscore FOV space, which whatever you want your FOV to be. I put mine to 100 and you just press enter and you will be able to fix up your FOV that way. But yeah, guys, this is how to get and install MW3 with the Plutonium modded client and be able to play online. Unfortunately, it is multiplayer only, so you cannot play the Spec Ops, the Survival Mode, or the Campaign. But at least there's the multiplayer, and that, even that alone is still pretty fun, right? And you can play against bots if you want to. Some of these servers have bots, like the one I'm on right now, and real players. Also, as you can see for my kill streak, it tells me that I need to push 5 on my keyboard to call in your streaks. And that is the case, you do have to use your keyboard to call in streaks. 
However, there is an update coming out that I saw them post recently where you will not have to do that anymore and you can still use your controller. But uh, for the moment, at the time of making this video, you have to use your keyboard, unfortunately. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. Just want to show you guys how to install this and start playing. And maybe I'll see you out here online. MW3 is certainly a classic, and I love playing it. And look at that. We got all of our streaks. That's crazy. Here, let me just call them in real quick, just for the classic feel. Okay, well, this is MW3, guys. Better than the newer CODs, to be honest, even though this did cause some rage back in the day. But it's still quite a great game. Well, thank you all for tuning in. In the future, I will be doing a gameplay commentary on this fully to explore everything about it and all the mods and stuff on MW3 specifically. So well, thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to smash that like button if you found this useful. Subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.